Well, a fire that broke out near Bass Lake yesterday continues to burn right now. We're continuing to keep an eye on this one here. Sheriff's deputies in Madera now say 21 buildings have been destroyed so far and 320 acres have burned in Oakhurst. This fire started around 1.30 yesterday afternoon. About 400 firefighters have been working through the night to try to get control of this fire. KMPH photojournalist Ryan Hudgens is in Oakhurst right now. Ryan is live with us on the phone. Ryan, uh, tell us uh, what you're seeing up there uh, right now. He showed us some good pictures early on, but uh, tell us what you're uh, looking at right now. Yeah, just about five minutes ago or so, the uh, fire trucks just pulled back up, getting ready to start fighting, uh, fighting this fire again for uh, another day. Uh, they're fighting it all weekend, as you see here. Uh, just kind of some of the devastation is done uh, to what used to be a house. Um, some of the list of things is probably uh, a rather medium-sized house. I'm probably standing in the... Uh, what appears to used to be probably the, uh, the bedroom. Uh, just I mean, it's hard to tell with all the rubble and everything. But further down, you have the uh, fireplace over there. So that, that I mean, may be a living room. And a lot of these homes are run on uh, propane tanks. Um, I was talking to a gentleman who's lived here over 20 years. Uh, said this is the worst he's ever seen. He's never seen anything like this as far as um, you know the, the destruction that is the fire is done and. Uh, things just exploding. He said he was actually taking pictures, kind of like a freelance photographer, taking pictures of um, his devastation. And he was standing by for pain take when he said, you know, I, I think I have enough pictures. So he, he backed off and not even more than, you know, uh, 30 minutes to, a, or, I'm sorry, 30 seconds to a minute, the whole thing just exploded uh, where he was standing. Um, and a lot of, like I said, a lot of these uh, neighbors they have, uh, 400, 400 gallon tanks up to, you know, 50 gallon tanks. So, um, a lot of these got burnt up. They see a house over there in the distance that actually didn't get touched. Uh, the firefighters are still standing by just to make sure nothing gets, uh, pushed over to that side. Um, I've seen a lot of, uh, or a couple of airplanes flying over. Not sure if they're just kind of scouting out, uh, the reason to make sure nothing else is spreading and, uh, you know, kind of staying somewhat contained before they get back out and keep fighting this fire. Hey Ryan, you said uh, early on when we talked to you earlier this morning that uh, the, the ground was still very hot and you could feel it in your shoes and you were still moving around. Is that ground still uh, as hot as you say it was earlier? I moved to a different section. It actually it kind of cooled down. Um, but you can, you know, this is just some of the stuff that, you know, grass or glass that I'm kind of stepping on. It's, it's, it cooled down. You still kind of, you feel the heat underneath you, but not as, as intense as earlier. Um, what you're looking at here is a, what used to be a boat. Oh, wow. uh, just, just destroyed. Engine gone, but it's still smoldering, you know. Um, you know, here, just like I said, that house, uh, furniture pieces, just, just done. Just memories destroyed, and, you know, you just, you, your hearts go out to people who, who live up in this area because, you know, this, being that it's, you know, it's drought season, you know, water, there's no water. They don't have any, uh, you know, pretty much this is, this is their livelihood. They, they, they depend on, you know, each other, and, um, and the rain and the water, when they don't get that, it's, very easy for things that go up as you see as it is now. Oh wow! Um, so you see a lot of a lot of pets, a lot of uh, animals. Like I said, I saw uh, numerous amount of deer just running in the road in the city. Um, some that's not sure if it's unlikely, uh, not being enough from the area, but uh, definitely saw at least three deer in the in the in the road uh, right there in the city area. Um, so I mean, even even the deer and the wildlife are trying to take uh, refuge wherever they can. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're a helicopter coming over right now. But out there in the in the mist there, you see more smoke down in the valley area. So no, no telling what's, what's destroyed down there. Jeez. Hey, Ryan, and thank you so much, man. We know you're uh, working hard out there. You bring us some amazing pictures this morning. And uh, yeah, just keep, keep your feet cool, man. I know it's still warm out there and uh, uh, it was still dry. But, man, that devastation that you're showing us is... Uh, it's really amazing out there. Thanks so much.